Are you ready? Are you ready? This is Stylish, and this is another first-person VOD. It's going to be an in-game VOD of the two port weight build, and it's going to be a pretty short VOD, so I have to speak quickly here, and uh, um, I'm going to just guide you through uh, through some decisions I make here, and uh, I just want to know, I, I just want you to know that this game is played on, on um, iCup uh, Season 7, and uh, the level is B+, plus here. It's a B+, plus Zerg, and... Um, uh, so I mean, this strategy is still doable on high levels as well. Uh, this this game is pretty short actually because this Zerg is. Uh, I don't think he expected me to do the two the two port weight build um, plus the prox factory with the vultures here. So he uh, attempted to do a three hatch mule build, and that way you you're gonna get some easy wins with this uh, with this build actually. So here I'm just showing you the power of this build when it's actually unnoticed. I'm gonna try to record more vods of this build order where we actually have to transition into something uh, something out of the late game into a three racks build or, or an expansion with bunker and siege mode or something like that because that's really um, the hard part with this strategy but uh, right now I don't have uh, recorded any any VOD like that and I mean it's a new ICOP season so I haven't haven't I haven't got a good game and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna talk a bit, a bit some decisions about <laughs> some decisions here. As you can see, I block my ramp here with a, with an SV on the correct spot, so he cannot see the mineral patch behind my SV and click on it and go through my uh, SV. So I block his, so he cannot get in with the drone there, and then I wait for a hundred minerals so I can make the second, so I can start making the second supply. So I have full wall, and then I can use the SV blocking uh, and scout with him instead of blocking because I mean you have a wall there, so it's blocked anyway. And usually I use that first uh, SV to um, go. Uh, around his overlord, I mean, so his overlord or his drone won't see where you go, and you go to proxy location, try to avoid his overlord, you go to a proxy location and make a factory there, and you actually don't scout until you have like 18 of 18, take this, be making the supply, and scout with him, because he's, then you're gonna scout in time, I mean, you make a marine anyway from the, from the barracks, you're gonna scout in time if he, if he makes a 9 pool, you're gonna meet the, the surgeons in the middle of the map, if he makes a 12 hatch, then you're gonna notice. If he makes two hatch or three hatch, maybe I mean that's all really you need to know. Um, sometimes you're gonna die the the SCD because it's so slow before you get to his main. So, uh, but I mean the the most useful information you can get is whether he makes a nine pool or a 12 hatch, and also if he makes a really fast gas. So I mean a really fast gas is usually a two hatch layer or a two hatch hydro build or something like that. Anyway. Um, um, what I see here is the, that he is actually placing a third hatchery, so I'm thinking this is going great for me because a three hatch is pretty good. Uh, this is pretty good versus a three hatch opening. Um, but I mean, three hatch hydrolisks, it could be some troubles as well, but usually three hatch is, is not a good counter to the two port rate build here. As you can see, I place my uh, star ports closer to his main, um, so the rates will arrive earlier. I usually produce. First, I produce two vultures and rally them and try to sneak behind his mineral line in his expansion to be able to uh, uh, cause him to um, suffer economical damage and uh, also pull all his drones to, to his main. And then I take my third vulture and I go behind the cliff that is behind his minerals in his expansion and put it at the location where it can fire if you have vision because I'm going to float the factory to his expansion and I'm going to have vision there. And then I take my initial rates actually and I go to his main uh, and uh, I attack his drones there, so you have to pull his drones to his expansion, but in his expansion I have my vultures and a vulture behind the cliff there and a factory so I have vision and he cannot pull his drones to any location and he's going to get really frustrated and some of the times he's not going to GG or anything like that because uh, I can imagine as a third player facing this strategy, if, if, he doesn't, if you don't know it's coming then it's going to be really frustrating. Also, you can use this the making the factory to open his back door and I mean keep producing vultures or whatever. There's really a lot of alternatives here. What's really important is that you keep producing rates, um, but that you have enough supply to keep producing rates out of both uh, starports at all times. You can see here I had 30, 30, 
33 of 34, so I actually take one vulture and sacrifice it to be able to make uh, the wraith. Although this time actually my supply finished just when the vulture died, so I didn't um, I didn't gain anything of that. So that was actually just a bad move move there. But make sure to be able to make raids all the time. And I attack overlords if there are at any uh, location where right in front of my uh, raids. Otherwise, I just attack his drones. Um, and then I take my my third and my fourth wraith and rally point them to my expansion so they can kill the overlord that's in my expansion and then I go with them as well to his uh, to his main and kill his drones. And um, well, this game is pretty short, but um, that's just some thoughts on how to how to do this and how to execute this build. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will definitely record another one with the follow up as well.